We're going to bake a traditional Swedish cake called semla, but we're going to make it with a bit of a modern twist. We're going to make semla wraps! <laughs> Firstly, we're going to slice the jeans into pieces and crumble it in a deep bowl. Okay, so now we have heated the milk up to 37 degrees Celsius and we're going to pour in the yeast. Pour the milk into the yeast! <laughs> okay, so we're going to grate half a teaspoon of cardamom seeds. nice and crumbled. The next step is to pour in the sugar and stir it around and we are also going to have pour in the rest of the ingredients so uh, the all-purpose flour uh, almost all flour but not all so about seven deciliters and we're also going to pour in the one. The next step is to pour in the sugar and stir it around. And we are also going to have pour in the rest of the ingredients. So uh, the all-purpose flour. Uh, Almost all flour, but not all, so about seven deciliters. And we're also going to pour in the uh, cardamom seeds. Six. I think we need to put an egg in because this is um, flour, <laughs> not flour. Okay, how many eggs? Uh, one egg. And yeah, we're going to um, melt the butter. We forgot to do that, but we're going to do it now. Colin, how much uh, butter do we need? We need 100 grams salted butter. 100. And it's important to measure it. So. Okay, so now we have melted the butter and we're going to pour it into the bowl. to pour in one pinch of salt. Two pinches. <clears throat> and we're also gonna pour in one teaspoon of baking powder. If I can open the container. It's a new container. 
Yeah. So, nope. Oh, I got it. I got it. One teaspoon of baking powder. There we go. We're gonna work with our hands. We're gonna work the dough with our hands and make it real smooth and non lumpy. Okay, so now we're going to let the dough rise for 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. While the dough is resting, put the oven on 225 degrees Celsius. Uh, so now I'm going to make the vanilla cream, and for that I need two deciliters of milk. And the main while, uh, meanwhile, <laughs> I'm going to do the whipped cream to the thermal wrap. So I'm going to use four deciliters of whipped cream. I told you that. <laughs> so. And with the vanilla cream, sorry, uh, you need to have five tablespoons of this. Two. Three and <laughs> four. So. so I think it's going to take a while. <laughs> Just going to mix it until it like has a really creamy Jag tittar på massan på oss paketet. Så. Så. to finish it up a little bit faster so now it's uh, nice and fluffy and I'm going to uh, put it in the fridge to make it uh, to make it a little bit colder <laughs> so okay now when the dough is finished we're going to slice it into 12 pieces 12 pieces. Yes. So there's two so pieces. We first we roll it and then we. Okay, so then we have to roll it and uh, you can roll it on the table. So remember to put some flour so it doesn't get stuck on the table.
so then we have <laughs> so then we have to cut it into three pieces no six pieces six pieces six pieces Starting to roll this into a little bun. Okay, let's put it aside. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. So you just roll it and later we're going to stretch out with the buns <laughs> so it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be very rough no. then we take the what's it called this one's <laughs> rolling pin. Rolling yeah. pins to roll it out. Yes, to stretch it out. Yeah. <laughs> and no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's important to not make it too thick. It should be very thin, one to two millimeters. Yeah. And like I think twenty meters, and I think the centimeters in a diameter. Yes. So, so it's just... like this big. And uh, yeah, and you can put some flour on the on the roll as well. <laughs> Everything that is not going to be in you know. Now it's time to put them in the oven. They should be in the oven for three to four minutes, and they should just be baked all through. They shouldn't get any color. Now they are finished. They have been in the oven for about three to four minutes, and they are perfect, no color. Okay. Let them cool down before you make the stuffing and the filling so the cream doesn't melt and so on. Okay, so now when they're finished, we're going to make the filling with the vanilla cream and the whisk cream. So we're just going to pour it in. So at first, <laughs> you put the vanilla cream in a little, in the middle of the rush. Like a, oh, like a stripe. Yeah. And then you take the cream and you put it in. And when you finish, you just fold it in like you do with the taco wrap. Like a taco wrap. And you have your beautiful wrap. <laughs> So now we're going to taste this semel wraps. So here we go. <laughs> it tastes good. It actually does. Yeah. 